Hello everyone. Our native plants are, are really part of our DNA. Uh, they're so important to planetary and national survival. And it's very important that we recognise uh, that and do everything we can to support the extension and propagation of these plants so that our grandchildren and great-grandchildren can benefit from seeing these beautiful plants for their lifetimes and for their own children's lifetimes. Plants like our eucalypts, like our wattles, and indeed the ancient wallamy pine are so important to our psyche that we need to do as much as we can to ensure that all those plants continue to thrive in our Australian condition. And of course, these plants come from these things, seeds. Therefore, it is important for us all to recognise that these seeds need to be stored in something like a bank. And the object of that bank is not just to store and to record, but it's also to propagate. In the event that we want to send these uh, plants out to areas where uh, some particular plants look like they might become extinct, or where we need to uh, do something about helping further develop the, the local ecosystem. And it's very important that this capacity remains within our own seed bank here in the National Botanic Gardens. Seed preservation is a huge job performed by dozens of seed banks across Australia and around the world. Here at the National Seed Bank, we save seeds from threatened and endangered species as well as plants with particular cultural or national significance. We focus mainly on plants from our Commonwealth National Parks, Alpine areas and the ACT region. Our seed bank has over 10 million seeds from almost 4,000 native species and some of our collections date back to the 1960s. When we add a new species to the seed bank, we start by targeting that species in the wild and we collect from multiple plants to make sure we have a good genetic diversity um, an appropriate collection in the seed bank. We clean the seeds and separate them from the rest of the plant with the help of our hardworking volunteers. The seeds are dried and packaged in a special climate controlled room, then it's into cold storage at minus 20 degrees, where, depending on the species, the seeds can stay viable for hundreds or even thousands of years. That means that if a species is in decline or goes extinct in future, the samples in our collection can be used to bring it back. But Australian natives have complicated germination processes. You can't just chuck them in the ground and expect them to grow like the veggies in your garden. Another big part of the seed bank's work is researching the dormancy and germination cues of each species so that we understand the exact conditions it needs to sprout. So this is Kwandong, a native uh, peach from Uluru National Park, where the populations of these plants is rapidly declining due to the impacts of camels. As you can see, our researchers have found a specialized treatments and perfect balance of light and temperature it needs to germinate. And that means we can start these famous Australian plants to grow in our labs and then we can reintroduce these plants in their natural habitats back in Uluru. Countries all over the world understand how important seed conservation is and have built cutting edge facilities to preserve these vital natural resources. We do world-class research and conservation here, but for us to remain world-class, we need a new National Seed Bank facility. So we've already planned a new state-of-the-art seed bank with more space, better research labs and climate-controlled environment, and better protection from bushfires and potential power failures. Now we need your help to make it a reality to help construct this new seed bank. The build has been estimated to be $4 million, which we have allocated a $1 million of government funds and we have another half million dollars from a generous philanthropist leaving us two and a half million dollars to source. So it would be exciting if you were able to partner with us to construct this new world leading national seed bank and to help us maintain the botanic gardens as a significant national attraction in our capital as well as leaving a botanical legacy. We've got a wonderful national seed bank in Canberra. It's world class but to retain that capacity we have to upgrade it urgently. To do that, of course, we need money. And I urge you today to undertake to support this wonderful cause of upgrading our National Seed Bank 
so that the plants of today and of yesteryear will be available for our grandchildren and great-grandchildren and for time immemorial.